To install Billiard Business Solutions on our computer in Windows 7, we need to make sure that we install two files correctly, ahscript underscore setup and mdac underscore typ. Let's look at the installation to see how it should be done correctly on Windows 7. First of all, save your file on the desktop or in another place on your computer from which you can easily find it. After doing this, find your file. Here I've saved it on the desktop and open it either by right clicking on the file and going open or just double clicking on the file. You may be asked if you want to install a program from an unknown publisher just say yes and then if you're asked do you want to install Billiard Business Solutions just say yes. The program will extract some files necessary for the installation and uh, you'll see a warning that you need to install two files correctly for Billiard Business Solutions to work. Just click OK. At this point our program will open up two windows. One is a text file which will give you instructions on how to install these files correctly on Windows 7, a script and uh, mdac underscore typ. Uh, for right now we're just going to minimize these instructions. You'll be watching them on the video but one of the windows that we had opened automatically when you clicked OK is a Windows Explorer window that shows you the location of these two files a script underscore setup and mdac underscore typ you must do two things to these files for them to operate correctly in Windows 7 right click on a script underscore setup and find the properties menu click on it you should see several tabs, General, Compatibility, Security, and a couple others. But click on the Compatibility tab. Make sure the Compatibility Mode setting is set to run this program in Compatibility Mode for Windows XP. Now you can install this in Windows XP Service Pack 3 or Windows XP Service Pack 2. Here we'll just choose Windows XP Service Pack 3. And you'll see another box towards the bottom in the Compatibility Mode tab that deals with the privilege level of the user. Make sure the box that is that says Run This Program as an Administrator is checked. Once these two things have been done, setting the Compatibility Mode and the Privilege Level have been completed then you can click OK. Do the same for mdac underscore typ. Right click on the file, find the properties menu, click on it, find the compatibility tab, make sure the compatibility mode is set correctly for Windows XP Service Pack 3 or, or 2, that's either one is fine, and make sure the program is set to run as an administrator in the privilege level. Click OK to apply these settings. Now all that you've done is change the settings for these two files but now you must run them. So right click on the ahscript underscore setup and click open to run the file. If you're asked to allow these changes to be made just click yes. You should see a, a box window popping up saying that files are being installed for this. If you're asked to restart your system just click cancel for right now or you can click OK if that doesn't pop up. The other file that must be installed at this time is ndap underscore typ. This is the data access components. Right click on it now and, and open it so this file can run. If you're asked to allow the program to make changes, just click Yes. You should then see a Microsoft Data Access Components uh, release form. Just click Yes to say that you allow Microsoft to install these components on your system. The files necessary for the installation will be extracted. And then you'll be asked to continue or to exit setup. Continue. The program will search for installed components and then it will give you two options 
you either do a complete install or a custom install. Just choose complete. The program will check for necessary disk space. It will update your system so that the files will be registered for your Windows operating system. And then you should see a message saying that Microsoft Data Access Components was completed successfully. Just click OK. And after you do this, this part of the installation of the program for Windows 7 or, or Vista is done. You can close out the Explore window that shows where these two files are located now. Now you need to install our program. Just click on the menu called Other. Find the menu that says Install Billiard Business Solutions and click on it. And at this point, uh, the program will install the icons and the files necessary to run Billiard Business Solutions. After it's complete, you should see a couple icons on your desktop if your computer is set to allow the viewing of icons on the desktop. Or you can find those icons in your Windows Start menu underneath the program section. You should see a, a section for Billiard Business Solutions. You can click on Billiard so Business Solutions there and the program should start. Once you, you see that the program has been installed, one thing you should check on on a first time installation is that the X10 uh, drivers have been registered. Just click on the Billiard Business Solutions shortcut here. You can click on Open or you can find the, the program section for Billiard Business Solutions. Here there's an icon placed there but also there is a, uh, a section for Billiard Business Solutions. You can click on the program there to start it and the program should start up. Now in a first time install of Billiard Business Solutions you'll see that the X10 drivers have not been registered or they have not been set up correctly. Uh, this has, has to happen just once. Uh, the program when it first runs registers the X10 light control drivers and after that it's OK. If you see that just click OK and restart the program. But after you do that once then you can just continue and continue and the program will be installed. To have further instructions on setting up Billiard Business Solutions, click on the Help menu, find Billiard Business Solutions Help, and go through the quick setup here and read about some of the most commonly asked questions about using Billiard Business Solutions. Now if you do have any questions about the setup or you have questions about how to run the program, please call our toll-free tech number 888-428-7665 extension 303. Again, that number is 888-428-7665 extension 303.